This is the first guitar loop that I made since I got COVID. Before I show you the secret to a good hi-hat, we gotta pick the snare out first. I pulled that rim snare and it sounds like this. Alright, for the hi-hat sauce, we go to splice and pick up a groove. I like that a lot. Step 1, adjust your hi-hat to the tempo of the beat. Step 2, add a filter onto it. Then you're going to take an LFO on the filter, put it to 100%, and then change the waveform accordingly. Before I show you the secrets to a good drop, we need to do the bass. Alright, to get the bass, you want to open up any synthesizer. I chose Serum. Then you want to pick a triangle sound, so it sounds like this. And then you want to go to your FX and add tube distortion and just crank that shit all the way up. So you want to follow the root note of every chord, so in this case, it sounds like this. Before I show you how to make the drop, the last thing we're going to do is the kick. Alright, so I grabbed a kick. And then for this one, I just want to vary it up a little bit. All right, for the drop, you might think that we're going to add some stuff in, and we are, but most of it is going to be subtraction. So what you want to do is you want to have gaps between the snare. So I'm going to go here, and every time the snare hits, I'm going to take away the guitar a little bit. Now for the drop, you can take some weird crashes and glitch sounds like this, and then bring them in the gapped spots that we just created. So it'd be like... Dun, 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 dun. Making this be so far has been really easy because we're keeping it simple. Sound selection matters the most. You can either grab high quality guitar loops to make this beat or you can look up how to make your own right here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.